We are going to do another daily with Bug Delver tonight. Um, made a few changes. Primarily, we brought in a fourth probe, a vapor snag. We cut two serum visions to put those in. We moved a snapcaster mage over to the sideboard to bring in a simic charm. And we cut desecration demon to make room for the snapcaster mage. And this is to help against our very troublesome matchups against aggro while hopefully not taking much of anything away from our matchups against mid-range combo and control. So we are going to be on the draw almost certainly given to fly sounds sounds like he's going to be on affinity <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm going to make sure real quick looks like the microphone's working tonight sorry about that for the last series so frustrating to have my first 4-0 tournament or daily uh not have any sound. Alright, so we... don't have any gas, but we're on the draw, and otherwise this looks like a pretty strong hand. Um, I think we're gonna give this a go. Liver hive, huh? Aether vial, I think we have to cut. I think we have to counter that. Slivers. So interesting. Well, it's an aggro deck, which probably is trouble for us, um, but it's probably a linear aggro deck, which is less trouble for us. Um, so this will be an interesting matchup. So I really, only having Liliana as my current threat package, need to keep her... And we will put one of those on the bottom. And we're going to keep one on top. Open I mean I don't know what's going on here, but this delay makes me think he had a greedy mana bait or mana keep. Only one mana? No. Reflecting pool. So currently his lands can produce green and colorless. So I think here oh let's see. I think let's see, because if he taps for three, we can just kill the creature. If he hits a fourth land, that's more troublesome. 
But I like being able to mana leak the big creature, so if he goes for like a four drop. Well, now we can't counter it. Creatures have this creature gets plus one one as long as you control a swamp. All slivers have regenerate with black. Okay, so then I'm assuming the mana left attacks. So we're going to destroy the mana weft, right? No, because they all have... Oh, I'm trying to think this through. Can he regenerate? He has to tap for black, and then he can regenerate after the fact, yeah. So he's fine there. We're going to go ahead and bounce the first creature. And then we will cast Lily to make him sacrifice. And now, hopefully, next turn we'll be able to kill it. Because he won't be able to regenerate it. We're going to cut Disrupting Shoal there, holding on to Mana Leak. Maybe we should have just left Lily. <laughs> so the trouble we have here is we can weaken him by killing Lily, but I don't know that that puts us in a strong enough position to race. Kind of like holding the mana leak.
I think at this point we just need to make them sacrifice a creature. We'll let them attack in for two, that's fine. He is out of gas, as are we. Do a land, we can probably cut that, cut that, cut that, and cut that. I really need to get uh, these delvers to flip next turn. If we hit these Delvers, we're looking at 9, 13 points of damage. So if it were something like a Simic Charm, that could be a lethal attack next turn if he goes in with everybody. Which he will not be able to do. Yeah. So let's take a quick count. We got two green, a couple white, oh, now I really want Echo and Truth. And I think at this point we will just concede. So, all right, so 7, 16, 2015, collected. We don't even need to do that, the slivers. Just too much gas there. So we're definitely bringing in engineered explosives. Death mark seems decent. That would be good early. Go for the throat would be good. So 
Flash Freeze is better than Mana Leak here. We're going to bring in Drown. Really the only problem we had that game is we didn't get a beat stick out early and put the pressure on him. Death mark seems good. Vapor snag seems good. I feel like Simic Charm's a little weaker here. Looking at his curve, Disrupting Shoal needs to stay. Echoing Truth is coming in. We know what slivers are going on. I think we're moving those out. I'm gonna keep two. We're actually going to pull all the Stubborn Denials, keep one. Oh, this is tough when you haven't played against something. So we're basically trying to go more control. We're going to be in the play. Uh, this is a good keep. So we're going to wait and see what he does with Aether Vial. And whether or not we thought scour. here's just to counter whatever he casts this time which is not going to work Whenever a sliver creature you control becomes the target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless the... <laughs> that is absolutely brutal. Cavern of Souls. Oh, I should have brought in all the removal. Well, I'm going to have to hope we get a chance to counter his second creature. So Slippers is actually the very first deck I built when I started playing Magic, and I never really liked it. So it's irritating to lose to it when uh, you couldn't really win with it yourself. <laughs> uh. Uh, 
I'm actually just gonna have to bite the bullet on these decays just to feed the graveyard. This way I can try and get the mandrel out in time. So he does not have the ability to cast the mo the Magus right now. So we are going to So, so long as he can't cast Magus, we are kind of okay, because we can start... Well, not if he gets flying going. I'm confused. Did he miss a trigger and let me kill his Gale Rider Sliver? Unfortunately, we have to do this. Oh, that is not actually what I wanted to do. I was trying to click on a swamp. Ugh. Need to drown in sorrow there. Well, that's a bummer. game. Not game. Nothing to do. The flying will take the game. So I'm kind of curious though, did he... So this trigger went on. He must have misclicked it. I 
I may have to go back and watch that. I don't know why the Gale Rider Sliver died. <laughs> okay. That was Blue Red Del or uh, Bug Delver versus um, Slivers. So <laughs> it's actually interesting. That deck it plays really, really similarly to Merfolk. Merfolk being a terrible matchup for Bug Delver. Um, the difference being, instead of giving Island Walk, they're giving Flying. Um, probably not as easy to give flying as it is to give island walk, but still, um, on the flip side of that, they have all these lordly powers and even more functions, but actually, honestly, that plays very similarly to Merfolk, which is just a really terrible matchup, so, um, not really confident my, my sideboarding options would, were going to do a ton there, I really just had to get out to a faster start and that did not happen, so we'll be back with the next round in a little bit. <laughs> 